it's Brianna and today I'm going to be doing a back to school makeup video um, I'm going to be doing two different looks today I want to do one that's kind of on the more natural side and then I'm going to pump up the look just a little more by adding a few more details and some more options for you guys and yeah so I'm gonna be doing two different looks which is great I wanted to give you guys as many options as possible um, so yeah without further ado let's just get on to the video all right, so first things first is I'm going to put my hair up in a bun just to get it out of my face. So first I'm gonna start off with the more simple look and then we'll do a little bit more adding on and a little bit just to show you guys what you could do with your look. So first off, I'm going to be priming my face and I'm going in with my Mario Badescu Rose Water with Aloe Spray. So for this first simple look, um, you don't really need to prime your face, but I also like to use that spray as a dewy kind of finish just to make your skin look more healthy and plump and full. So to start off this first natural look, I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. And because this is going to be a natural look, I'm not going to go too wild with a gel or any type of cream. So I am using a pencil. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Pencil. And this is one of my favorite brow pencils. I also wanted to keep this look pretty affordable. So this brow pencil is really cheap and it's really good. And I'm pretty much just going in and outlining my brows just to give them a little more definition without doing too much and without them looking too, too crazy. All right, so that's pretty much all it takes and then I'm just brushing it out with the dual-ended spoolie that the brow pencil comes with. Alright, and then I'm just going to take my finger to clean it up a little bit. Perfect, so you've got one of your brows, and it looks very natural. I mean, compared to the other one, it does look a little more put together, but it's more on the natural side. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other brow here, just doing my bottom line first. So the last step for the brows is just to set them and forget them. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. And I'm just going to be taking this in on my eyebrows. And this is really going to hold them in place throughout the day because, you know, when you're at school, your makeup does get messed up a little bit. And this is just going to make sure that your brows don't go anywhere. So I'm just brushing this through them. And that is all for the brows. So next what I like to do is go with a little bit of highlighter. So I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild. I know I'm using a lot of Wet n Wild products, but don't worry, this is not sponsored. I just love Wet n Wild. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. And all of these products are really affordable. So, you know, like I said, I wanted to make this more drugstore-ish than anything. And I'm just gonna be applying a little bit of that to the high points of my cheekbones. And this is just gonna give your face a really nice glow even though you're not wearing foundation. Um, I just feel like it brightens up your skin and makes you look more awake, especially if you're getting up early in the morning and you know you're in a rush for school. This is a very simple, easy makeup look and to make yourself look more awake, highlighter really does the trick. And for mascara, I'm gonna be using my Pumped Up Colossal Maybelline New York mascara and this is a really nice mascara I used to use this all the time before I got hooked on the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and this was honestly like my go-to mascara so I'm really excited to be using it again but I'm just going to brush this on my eyelashes and I'm not going to be doing too many coats because like I said this is going to be natural All right, and then I'm gonna take this and go on the bottom lashes. I'm not dipping back in just because I wanna keep this nice and light on the bottom lashes. 
All right, and the last step for this look is some lip gloss. So I'm going in with the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip that has a hair on it. <laughs> and this is in Lai Chi Me. And I'm just going to be applying a little bit of this on my lips. It's just a basic nude gloss. You can really get any nude gloss you want from the drugstore, even though this is only $6. Um, you know, you have to order it online. But you can get any clear gloss or any nude gloss you want from the drugstore. I know that Maybelline has some pretty good ones as well as Wet n Wild. They do have some nice glosses, but I'm just going to use the ColourPop one today. So that is it for this simple look. So now we're going to move on to the more dramatic look. It's still gonna be nice and easy and simple for school, but it's just if you want a little more coverage or you wanna do a little more in the morning. So to start off this look, I'm going to be adding a little bit of foundation on my cheeks. Um, I'm only gonna be adding some on my cheeks just because, you know, if you're a person who wants a little more coverage, this is like the perfect way to get it by just adding a few dots of foundation on your face. And I'm gonna be taking my Real Techniques blender and just blend this in. By the way, this is the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. I mean, the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Um, this is also a really nice drugstore foundation. This is actually the foundation that I use on a regular in all my videos, and I absolutely love it. Um, it's definitely like one of my staple foundations that I love, because I don't really have any high-end you know, Sephora or Ulta foundation. So this is like what I go for. By the way, I'm in the shade Caramel Beige W7 in this foundation. All right, next I'm going to be going in back to my brows and we're just going to clean them up a little bit. So I'm taking a flat top brush and I'm gonna be taking some concealer. You could use, there's a lot of drugstore concealers that you could use. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be using a drugstore one because this one is the Ulta Full Coverage Concealer just because not a lot of people have access to Ultas. So I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. And I'm just going to take this right under my brow bone and use this to clean up my brows. And this is just going to make them look a little more defined than they already look. Actually, I actually haven't used this concealer in forever. <laughs> um, but now I'm taking my flat top brush and I'm just going to go in and carve out my brows. I remember why I stopped using this concealer now. It's because it's really, really watery and usually like a thicker concealer because I feel like I have more control. Then I'm going in with a bigger little concealer brush here and I'm just going to blend out that concealer right under my brows. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender and blend this in to make it look a little more natural. So now I'm going to be going in with a little eyeshadow palette. And this is probably going to be the most simple eyeshadow, you know, tutorial that you've ever seen. This is not drugstore, but it is from AliExpress and it was like $4, so I'm going to be using it. Um, it's the Coco She Six Color Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to be taking First Kiss, which is this one right here. And I'm going to take this light kind of brassy tone color. And I'm just going to pop that in my crease and blend it right down to my eyelid and this is really just going to deepen up your crease make your eyes look a little more awake and open and it's just a very simple look for school it's like a one eyeshadow color kind of look where you're not trying to do too much but you're still popping so yeah that's pretty much all i'm going to do for the eyes and like i said that just adds a little bit more dimension to your look so then I'm going back in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and I'm just going to highlight since that did get covered up with my foundation. Alright, and then just to add a little more color back into the face, I'm going to be taking the NYX Whipped um, Blush. And this is like a blush and a lip tint, but I'm just going to use it for blush. And I'm going to do a dot on each cheek and just blend that in with my Beauty Blender or my Real Techniques face sponge. And this is a really pretty natural color, especially if you're not trying to look too, too blushy and it blends into the cheeks really, really nicely. I absolutely love this stuff and it's definitely like my go-to cheek color. 
just because it looks so natural. All right, so now I'm gonna go back in with my mascara and just add a, one or two more coats and this is just gonna, you know, further plump your eyelashes and make them look really, really long and pretty. So I'm not gonna be adding any more to my lower lash line just because I do wanna keep the bottom lashes nice and natural. But we are going to go in with my Soft Focus Finishing Powder. This is, Bla this is by Black Radiance, and you can get this at Walmart. I know this brand isn't that known, but uh, it is a black-owned brand, and you can pick this up at Walmart. And I'm just gonna set my face with my Real Techniques fluffy brush. Okay. And last but not least, if you wanted to add a little color to your lips, I'm gonna be going in with the Rimmel London Lasting Finish um, Lip Color Pencil in the shade Cafe LA, and this is number 45. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on my lips. Uh, I'm not gonna really like line it precisely. I'm just gonna pop some on and blend it out in the gloss. And that's just gonna add a little bit of a tint to the gloss. And yeah, so this is my two looks for my back to school natural makeup looks. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And if you want me to do any more videos like this, more back to school videos um, about makeup and like, you know, specifically for the grades, what, you know, makeup you want to wear and stuff like that, then just comment down below. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Give this video a big thumbs up for me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.